and Wayne's Warehouse this week, we're going to address the thing, kids. Kids on the back of the bike, well, they always want to go on the bike, go for a ride with Dad on a Sunday afternoon, don't they? The trouble is, up to recently, you couldn't get any kit for them. Well, you can nowadays. But before we talk about the gear, I want to point out the fact that safety is obviously of the utmost. Now, I love kids, just can't eat a full one. But nonetheless, if you do take your kid on the back of the bike, I reckon the best thing you could do is to sort a rack out on the back and put a top box on so they've got something to sit against. So they hold on to you via either a belt on your gear or even proper belts that are available now called pillion pals. They're only about 20 quid and they hold on to a proper handle. Then they're trapped between you and the box on the back. Complete safety, or at least within reason that is. And it just gives you peace of mind. You know that they're obviously comfortable and safe. So, I want to put a bit of kit on them. Well, the first thing is crash helmets, of course. And everybody believes you can't buy helmets for children. Not true. You may find that any kid here above the age of six or seven years old is in fact big enough to wear an adult helmet. They might need, like this, a double XS, which is only 52 centimeters, but they're only little, these things. And a kiddie's head isn't particularly small, to be honest with you, they're quite big. So don't decide just because the shop you've rang up says, no, we don't do children's helmets, that you can't kit your child out with a helmet. You may find they've got a relatively big head and you need an adult helmet. The only caution I reckon you've got to take care of is you don't buy one, first of all, that they'll grow into, because that defeats the object, get it nice and tight, a good correct fit, and make sure that the helmet sits high enough so that it doesn't sit against the collarbone. You want a bit of a gap, just for safety reasons, if for nothing else. Obviously, we've addressed the head job. If you do want one motocross style for off-road riding, fair enough, they'd want to suit. But don't forget, that is absolutely no good whatsoever on the road. Buy a proper road helmet for on the road, and an off-road helmet for off-road. Quite a lot of people I see wearing gloves that are motocross gloves, or possibly ski gloves, or even just soft woolly gloves to keep the hands warm. Well, gloves are needed for protection as well. You can buy very, very small fitting gloves. I found a pair here by Aikido. They're only 20 quid then, they're waterproof, and they're sized extra, extra, extra small. They're obviously ladies' gloves, but a kid here seven or eight years old upwards will fit in them no problem whatsoever. They're going to be warm, dry and protected, all for around 20 quid. Obviously you can buy motocross gear to go and play on their little kiddies bikes, but when they progress to being a passenger on the back of you, on your road bike, you do need proper protection. And it's now available in the way of clothing. And let's just move forward a little bit and show you these things. What we've got here, which I can't get off the hanger, is a proper daddy's jacket. It's just like an adult's coat that is except done in kiddie sizes. Right the way from extra small kiddies through to double XL, and these, would you believe, are only 60 pounds. They've got a waterproof liner on them. They've even got a complete zip out inner liner. So they're ideal for both summer and winter. In this case, this particular company, JTS, they even come with spare studs and bits and pieces so you can keep them on the road for a while. There's other companies that produce this sort of gear as well. There's Risha, for example. Aikido, Aikido do a full range of re leather wear. Look at that, a proper kiddies leather jacket, just like Dad's. Amazing, isn't it? Including a pair of pants as well. So you can kit them out in the full kit. What you've obviously got to consider is the cost. It can add up, it's just as much as Dad's gear, Mum's gear. But then again, the same amount of work is involved in producing it. They even come with body armour. So, buy some good kit, Keep it in good order. There's always somebody in your local bike club or rider society or whatever who's got a li little one. When yours grows up, they need it. Do them a good price. You'll have a few quid in the bank to buy some more gear for the kiddie. Meanwhile, I suppose I better see if the stuff fits me because it's VAT free as well. Save a few quid. So the height is not a problem. It's the midriff that is. <laughs> 